Moving forward, LaSalle on Saturday, high noon, a nationally televised game, and another tough test here in the Atlantic 10 Conference. No question. They've got a really good team. Uh, they went to Sweet 16 last year. They have four starters back from that team and, and, and a lot of veterans, uh, possibly the best point guard in the league, or certainly one of the two best point guards in the league, Tyreek Byrne. Uh, just a really, really good player. He's been around forever. We recruited him, we tried to recruit him uh, in our first year at VCU, and now you know, he's a senior at, at, at LaSalle. They've got a lot of good players, so that place is going to be rocking. I know they'll have their fans there early and, and ready to go. It's a noon game, which is a little different, but uh, we're excited about getting up there tomorrow night and, and getting ready to play another you know, big time road game in the, in the A-10. It's a, it's a great league. Uh, again, just the, the level of competitiveness is, is terrific and, and I'm excited about our opportunity. You know, I know some had focused on the road setbacks at Northern Iowa and GW. I kind of look at now, look at your wins on the road. UVA, Belmont, Dayton. What does that do for a team move? I mean, there's a lot of basketball left, but does that not help your team to know, like, look what we have done. Not what we haven't done. Look what we have done on the road already on January the 23rd. Yeah, I, I mean, everything's relative, but, uh, and certainly, don't get me wrong, we, we played five road games. We'd love to be five for five. Uh, but let's look around college basketball and see who is five for five. Uh, Wichita State is. Arizona is. It's about it. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you know? uh, Syracuse doesn't play true road games. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, but, I'm, you know, you look at what happens, even for the Wisconsins and the Ohio States who were rolling and they were undefeated and playing great, but then they get in the league and it's like, bam, they get punched in the mouth. And then now they got to go play another tough road game. Bam. So that's what happens. Uh, but you got to learn to get tough and you got to learn to understand that you're going to have to withstand some stuff on the road. You're going to have to deal with a tough crowd. Maybe some calls that don't go your way. Uh, and, and I think that's what the best teams will do. I want to remind everybody, after that road trip to Philly, and I know a lot of Rams are making the trip. How about the Rams that made the trip to Dayton? Obviously, well, it was great to see them there. And, you know, the, the, the thing that was awesome was, um, you know, obviously the game was, was going our way, and particularly in the second half, we got up pretty big. And, you know, you could really hear the fans, that uh, the VCU fans, and we, we were severely outnumbered, but... Uh, they, they were very boisterous and loud and, and excited about what was going on. Well, a lot of Rams fans, Ram Nation will be in full effect up there in Philly. It's an easy trip, and I know a lot of folks are going up, but we want to remind everybody next Wednesday, back at home against Fordham. We won't look ahead to, to the Rams, but certainly back home next Wednesday as the Atlantic 10 schedule rolls on for the Rams. 15-4 and four overall, 3-1 and one in the league. Coach, best of luck in Philadelphia. Thank you, Greg. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. That's head coach Shaka Smart. Quick time out. We'll wind things down here on the Shaka Smart Radio Show. Live from Home Team Grill and the Fan on ESPN 950.